Well, hello there. Good to see you today. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Remote ID module that has a few features I haven't seen before, and we're going to give some away as well as some swag. So, how cool is that? Before we get started, if you're not sure what Remote ID for drones is, I was in a live stream with the FAA where we talked specifically about Remote ID, and I'll put a video up here and a link in the description so that you can go take a look at it after this video. In a nutshell though, if your drone is registered for any reason, even if it is not required to be registered, it needs Remote ID. Either the standard Remote ID type, which is built into many new drones, or a broadcast module like this one. Now, I've never been a proponent of Remote ID broadcasting a pilot's location to the general public, not even a little. And if you loathe Remote ID and drone rules in general, and vow to never follow another rule for whatever reason, you probably should stop watching now and go watch reruns of Gilligan's Island or whatever floats your boat. Oh, that's terrible. No, that's good. Okay, so we're good? All right, first, you probably have noticed my fancy new shirt, which is really snazzy. So if you didn't guess yet, this is the Potensic module. And yes, it does have a declaration of compliance, so it is a legal broadcast. And yes, this can be used on any drone, not just Potensic models. And before you ask, no, this video is not sponsored by Potensic, but they were nice enough to send me this snazzy shirt and these five Remote ID modules to give away. This weighs in at 20 grams, and although it is not the absolute lightest one out there, it is one of the lighter and smaller ones. And for reference, I recently used this on a mini drone I tested, and it worked just fine. And there are a few things that make it unique, and one is that it is the first one to be in this nice gray color, and although that doesn't change the operation of the unit, being that it matches most drones color much better, it does ease my OCD just a little bit. The next thing that's unique is that this is weather resistance having an IP54 dust and water resistance rating. You can see the little rubber stopper here on the end that covers up the switch and the charging port. Also, this is one of the most complete kits that I've seen coming with the module, Two sets of the dual lock Velcro that's included, not that cheapy stuff. A good long USB charging cable, instruction manuals, and a little action camera mount that can be attached directly to this that allows it to be attached on perhaps an FPV drone. This is a decent kit for the price for sure. And we'll talk about the price and where you can get it in just a little bit, so hang loose. So when you get this, you're gonna have to program this. So let's go ahead and program it so you can see what that looks like. Gonna need the little USB cable that comes with it, a USB-C. Take this little cover off of here and plug it in. Okay, plug it into the PC here. So to start, head over to the Potensic page at the link in the description and click the link for the remote ID management system down here at the bottom. Turn on the module and click the allow connect button. Select the RID 916 device in the pop-up window, then click the connect button in the pop-up window to connect. Mine says COM5, but yours could be a different COM for sure. Now the number you see here is the number you will need when you register with the FAA, and it is written here as well in incredibly small type, so you're definitely gonna need a magnifying glass to see it, at least I did. Scroll down here a bit and you can choose your region, choose your equipment type here, and now here where it says enter registration ID, According to 89.315, which is the regulation that defines the broadcast minimum message elements, and I'll leave a link in the description for that, we are not required to have this in the US, but it is a number that is supplied in the UE, for instance, and is required there. So in this case, I'm just gonna drop in the pilot's name. Now, there may be other information that's required depending upon where you live, so make sure you do your due diligence and check your country's regulations before you fly. Once you have this information in, go ahead and click right. So let's check the app just to see what's broadcasting. And we can see that there is one drone and it is broadcasting the location, the ID number, and the name we entered here. And I did take it up on the Potensic Atom, which is uh, this drone right here. It's a dandy little drone, by the way. Links in the description, of course, if you want to check out that mini drone. And it did show what we expect. And you'll notice that it did stop updating. And this was at about 800 feet distance at about 220 feet altitude, just to give you some idea of the transmission distance. So indeed, it looks like the module is doing its thing. Now, you can find this module both on Amazon and directly on Potensic site. And at the time of this video, it is a better price on Potensic site by a lot. And, and you can get an exclusive Alien Drones discount as well, bringing it down even more, close to the cheapest that we've seen for a module. And they were offering free shipping as well. 
Amazon was a bit more and I don't have a discount in the works for that. But if you want to get it there because of return policies or what have you, uh, I'll leave a link for that one as well. So I know some of you will say it should be free. Well, until it is, I'll do my part by giving away a few of these for free and even some free Pilot Institute and Aliens Road swag for runner-up winners. Since I mentioned Pilot Institute, if you're interested in what a Part 107 does for you, I'll put a link up here and I'll put a link in the description. So if you want to learn more about this, you can check this video out because I think it'll answer your questions. So to enter for the free stuff is pretty simple. One, you gotta be subscribed. Two, gotta like this video. Three, in the comments, write the type of drone you're thinking of putting the remote ID module on, followed by a random number between one and 50. But here's the catch. Throughout the video, I displayed six different numbers and your random number cannot be one of those in the video or you will be disqualified. As a bonus, you can enter as many times as you want. In a couple of weeks, I will pick five random winners and I will notify you by replying in the comments. Now, if I reply to you in the comments, reply back to me using the email address here on the screen with your physical mailing address and I'll ship out your winnings free of charge, shipping included. No strings attached. Now, this is only valid in the lower 48. Sorry, I have to draw the line somewhere. Please keep in mind, there are a ton of scammers out there. So I will not reply in the comments saying you want a free drone or a free Mini 3 or ask you for any money in any way for shipping. Those are scammers, do not reply to those. No payment is required, but of course, if you want to buy me a coffee or a super chat or something like that, always appreciate it and I wouldn't turn it down. With that, good luck. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, good flying.